Hello, my name is Ayesh Mathur and I'm here to tell you about my project Gesture Controlled Camera. So what is the purpose of my project? It is to give the users the ability to control their camera by using some certain gestures. So instead of clicking a button manually or clicking the image or recording a video, we can do all these processes by giving some certain gestures. For this, I have used mainly two libraries. One is CV2 that is OpenCV for opening our webcam for image processing and live video processing. The next one is MediaPipe. MediaPipe has a really good pre-trained machine learning model with best possible accuracy that we'll use for our finger tracking and hand tracking. So at first, we have a hand detector class that will give us fine hands and fine positions. What fine hands will do is it, it will tell us whether there is a hand available on the frame or not. And find position will give us the positions of all the fingers. We'll use these positions to count the number of fingers and will that will use the operations. If you look at our main project, you can see that we are using uh, infinite loop. So basically why we are using infinite loop is that we want our code to run infinitely until unless there is a gesture found. So now I have started running my project. So as we can see that our webcam is open. This is because of OpenCV. Okay. Now to click an image, I'll do gesture number seven to click an image. That is this. So after doing this, after three seconds, it will click an image. I'll do it again. So as we can see that at our console, it is saying that image was captured. So it's a message to show that the image was successfully captured. Okay. So now we'll start recording a video. So first I'll run the project. Okay. And our frame is active. So we have already clicked some images. Now we'll start recording a video. So to start recording a video, you're going to need to show gesture number six. That is this. So after showing this gesture, the video has been started recording. So if you want to stop the recording, you have to show gesture number five. The moment I show gesture number five, the video will stop recording. Okay. So now the video has been stopped recording. Now, if you go to the source folder where our code reside, we can see that we have our very first selfie. the second selfie and we also have the video that we have recorded so thank you so much